Napa High School, home to all of its inhabitants and wildlife. Deep in the vast ocean we call Napa High School, roughly translating from Latin to Bush did 9-11. There is a creature unlike any other, the Homo sapien. Like its cousin, the Homo erectus, it has the ability to speak words in a strange language called English, which I am fluent in actually. This is a damn well difficult language, I mean, some of these words are insane. Come on, America. As you know, there are subspecies of all types of species. There are three main ones in the case of the Homo sapien, the Homo nerdus, the Homo popularis, and the Homo inbetweenus. There was a species called the Homo dolphinus. They have not been heard of for a long time. Along with the Homo water boyus, both a forgotten species, they were rivals and were believed to have driven each other to extinction. We start with the Homo nerdus. The Homo nerdus spends most of its time consuming truckloads of Mountain Dew and Doritos and spends a minimum of 23.9 hours on the internet, leaving them just enough time to maintain their hygiene. As for their attire, most of their clothing is purchased and picked out by their mothers. The most common set of clothes are the striped polo, not to be confused with the Mexican word pollo, which is pronounced pollo and not polo. Two L's make a Y sound in Spanish. Yolo. <laughs> Getting back to the point, the polo will most commonly have a shirt pocket. This gives them space to carry a nacho cheese flavored inhaler for emergencies. As for the pants, they are either light blue jeans that appear to have orange stains on the outer thigh or very baggy khaki cargo pants that still have the orange stains on the same spot. Unfortunately, due to the 23.9 hours of straining their eyes, most of them wear glasses, which questions the possibility of their survival. The only thing keeping them alive are their intelligence. Those who fail to learn will surely die. As for repopulation, they don't. Their species is only introduced by crossbreeding and cannot breed for themselves. They can be compared to the mule in terms of repopulation. On we have the Homo popularis. The Homo popularis is the highest on the food chain in the kingdom of Napa High. They spend most of their time gossiping and consuming a minimum of two gallons of Gatorade per day. They will try to ingest as many electrolytes as possible to prevent from sleeping, a large advantageous tactic over the other species. As for physical food, they do not eat it. As for attire for the popularis, the Homo popularis wears traditional Napa High sweatshirt and khaki jeans. But a new outfit is being introduced to the popularis. It is the neon Under Armour shirts and the Nike shoes paired with tube socks that reach their upper thighs. They wear hats with sports teams on them, but it is very uncommon. They were the kind of children that believed that light-up shoes would make them run faster. Did it? Nobody knows, but that's what they believed. As for repopulation, they are the reason overpopulation is becoming an issue. As for the fact that they have a minimum of four children per family, in some cases, they have four families with seven children per family. The Homo popularis is one of the most dangerous species in the kingdom of Napa High. The most dangerous, of course, being the Homo densdalus. But we don't speak of them for religious reasons. Now, last of all, the Homo in between us. The casual attire contains hoodies, jeans, cargo shorts, trucker hats, and converse. The homo in between us is prone to making cheesy jokes and making fun of other subgroups behind their backs. 
they mostly try to promote themselves by making fun of the homo populares behind their backs. The homo impetuinus is actually not on the Napa High food chain. They are on a separate food chain called the Mom's Leftovers chain. They will consume anything made by their mothers, mainly relying on that food source. Without it, they would starve. The homo in between us is most commonly spotted in the following locations. B4, the rail, and the gym. Well, that concludes our study on Napa High School's wildlife.